Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to connect to the Amazon Fire TV stick or just a regular fire using ADB and uh, this will allow you to issue commands and hack your device so to speak. Uh, first thing you want to do is go over to your settings. We're going to go to my Fire TV, developer options and ADB debugging we want to set to on. So now we're ready. We'll need to know the IP address that we're using for this Fire TV. So to do that, we're gonna to go to settings here, my Fire TV, about, and network. And here we have our IP address, 192.168.1.109. So we will write that down because we will need that information later. Now I'm over on my PC. I have a Windows PC and I'm going to drop this link in the description. Uh, this is where you can download the SDK platform tools. I am on a Windows machine. You can also do this on Mac or Linux. S instructions are pretty similar, but I'm going to use Windows here. And sure, I agree. So we'll save this. Yeah, I already have it, but I'll show you again. And we'll open the zip file. In the zip file is uh, tool are tools like ADB and uh, Fastboot is another popular one. I'm going to go into this platform tools folder, and I want everything in here, and I want it to go to a file called a folder called Android. So we'll just go to Extract to and let's tell it to go to a folder called Android. All right. So now we have all, uh, we go to this folder named Android, ADB's there, Fastboot is there, and a bunch of other tools. Now we can go to start and then type CMD to bring up a command prompt. And I'll CD space backslash to get to the root and then CD space Android to get to the Android folder. Oh, yeah, not on Linux. Dir, and we'll, we can see all the files in that directory. So now we can, we can type ADB commands. And we'll connect to that IP address that we wrote down. And it's sort of half connected right now. I need to go over to the Fire TV and I'll show you something. Now we're back over on the Fire and to avoid that uh, tricky little half connected issue, we're gonna check this always allow from this computer. That way it won't get confused or whether it's connected or not. We'll go down to okay. We're back over on my PC and uh, I'm just going to go ADB disconnect and we'll try that again. And now we are, we're connected. We without that second half, if we can't connect to port five, 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 you won't be able to run shell. So now you can issue ADB commands and uh, from here, just get yourself more familiar with it. You can go to ADB shell. And you can do a lot from here. So I hope this video has helped you get connected to your Fire TV using ADB. Please like and share and be sure to subscribe for more tips like this and more. Thanks for watching.